Corsage is a movie that pleasantly surprised me. It was not something that I was expecting to watch, but I was curious about it. And I'm really so glad I did. It was probably one of the surprises that I've seen so far at New York Film Festival. And I'll tell you why that is right now. A lion doesn't lose sleep over the opinion of sheep. Corsage is a movie directed by Mari Kritzer and stars Vicky E. Krieps, who you may know or be rec- or recognize from The Phantom Threat. Like I said before, I was this was a movie that I didn't really know that much about, um, but just watching the trailer alone kind of had me very curious to check it out, so I did. And the best way I would describe this movie is kind of like a rock and roll period piece where it's really this modern take on the life of Empress Elizabeth of Austria, but still maintaining that period piece look and feel to it. But the characters and the way that they act out really mirrors today's uh, personalities. Vicky's portrayal of Empress Elizabeth was really, really refreshing and I really enjoyed it. The way that she just wanted to live her the life the way she wants to and not have to deal with all of these traditions and ceremonies and all that stuff like that. You see the moment she has a chance, she's smoking cigarettes, you know, she's kind of putting her feet up. You know, she doesn't really care, you know, and all that. She just wants to let loose. She wants to do what she wants to do and not have to be tied into these traditions and be kind of just secondhand when it comes to the ruling of a kingdom. Because again, that's how women were looked at, right? They were supposed to just stand there, smile, nod, and then just be kind of regal in a sense, while her husband, the king, would be the one off doing all the important important stuff. But here she wants to help. She wants to participate. She wants to do things. She wants to be active. You know, she just doesn't want to sit back. And when she's not given the chance to do so, that's when she starts rebelling and all that. We see she she has a fond for writing and then she goes to another town where she kind of has like this romantic affection and feeling for this other guy because of the way she, that he looks at her. Because also at the end of the day, she just wants to feel loved and appreciated for who she is and not what she represents. So I guess in a way, this is a great story that really holds true to today's environment and today's society of how women just really want to be looked upon in those same ways. Of course, it's already been a while where women were once looked upon as the ones who just stay in the kitchen, cook dinner, do the laundry and all that stuff like that. In certain cases, that's still seen that way, but it is now seen that women are doing their own things. They have their own jobs. They're working. They are contributing to society equally as men are, but they are still not getting the respect and recognition in most cases. So this movie and story pretty much tells the same thing, but it's refreshing to see how this main character decides to take things into her own hands and basically just wants to live her life to its fullest up until the very end. Again, one of the reasons why I found this movie so enjoyable is because of Vicky's acting. The way that she kind of allowed herself to be so playful and kind of childlike at times. How she portrays this person who is so restricted on being herself and how when she, the moment she has a chance, she kind of rips those chains apart and just like lets go and be and becomes this, the person she wants to be. Kind of feel free and do whatever she can to enjoy life. Now, without trying to spoil too much about the ending of this movie, I think a lot of people will find the movie ending in a very sad note, but I think the way it ended was very liberating, especially for the character, how she kind of went out in her own terms, just exactly when she knew she wanted to, but being able to fill a lot of the things that she wanted to do for herself and for those around her. Again, it's about being free and being the person that you want to be and you were always meant to be. Every one of us feels that way. And sometimes we find ourselves in situations where we can't do that. But the moment we have a chance, we let it all out. So a lot of us can really relate to a movie like this, but it's really refreshing to see it done in this way, kind of in a period drama type of way, in a point of view of someone else. Even though the movie does take a lot of liberties as far as the historical aspects of it, this is definitely not a biopic for sure, but I appreciate the little liberties that uh, Marie took uh, when putting this movie together um, just to portray a story about this certain character 
who is shackled by all of that stuff and just wanting to live a life that she feels as free as possible. So I'm pretty sure this movie is not on a lot of all of your radars, but I highly recommend it and I, ha I highly recommend that you check it out the moment it is available for streaming or what have you. Now, if you're one of those who actually watched the movie, I'm very curious to hear your thoughts about it. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what it is you liked about the movie or maybe if there was something that you didn't like. For those of you who haven't seen it yet, did I make a convincing argument for you to try to check it out? Let me know about that as well. If you are brand new to this channel and you just happen to come across this video, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, hit that like and subscribe buttons to help support and grow this channel and this community. For an audio version of this, you could find it on your podcast platform of choice. Just type out Low Key Geek there where you could download this and many other episodes. Again, I appreciate all of you watching. Stay cool, stay classy, stay safe, and I'll catch all of you in the next one. Peace.